spent 33 years underground. And of that 33 years, 22 of it was in the coal industry. And of that time, I witnessed three events that still to this day I can't explain. So I'm going to share with you these three events. Now, these strange things that I witnessed happened in a place over called Tackett Creek, a big mine. Had three mines in it, nine sections, 400 men operation. And I witnessed some of some strange things. Now, this is just an example map of what some of these big mines look like. This is blurred on purpose to protect the name of the mine. I started my career at this mine when I was 18 years old. Worked 17 years here. And 15 of it was on the owl shift. The hoot owl shift, we called it. And this is the first one of one of my events right here. The Voices. Now, this is just a picture of a map section of what I witnessed and where it's located in the mine. A lot of people that's experienced with the mines knows what they're looking at, but the you that don't, this is just an example of what it looks like. The red is the belt line. Well, the belts went off one night. We was up there working on the section up in the morning. So I head down there and see if I can find out what's wrong with the belt, why it ain't running. Couldn't get a hold of nobody on the phone. Went down there and the belt wasn't running, but the main line wasn't running either. So I said, well, what in the world is going on here? So I hollered on the phone, but the phone was so weak, nobody would answer it. Barely could talk back to the section. So I headed on down to the, the power center there, down here to the Bradish. It's in a little concealed place. And when I got out of the scoop, and it was dead quiet, and I started over towards the door, I heard some voices. I said, wait a minute, I hear somebody. Well, I listened. But I couldn't understand a word they were saying. It was like foreign languages, just a bunch of voices that I couldn't understand. I listened and listened. It went on for about 20, 30 seconds, and then it just faded away. I said, what in the world? So I said, somebody's in there at that power center, and belt men's bad to climb on top of it. So I went on in there. thought, well, they'd knock the brake. Well, there was a the power center in there. Everything normal, nobody around. There wasn't no back door in there to the belt line on the Bradish there. It was, this is only one way in and one way out. Well, that's strange. Well, I checked the breaker and everything. Everything was okay on that. Just the main line went down. And that still puzzles me. I don't know what the world that was. So I took my time back out of there, but I never did hear that again to this day. I never heard that voices and like strange strange voices i've never heard of no no language of such well that was that was one of the occurrences now another one is in the number one mine this is called nine section now we had a layoff and the mines was fixing to shut down in about four months so i was a low man on seniority this was a union mine so I got put off of being a mechanic down to being a belt man. Well, late one night, I was down here on these old belt lines. And I'd heard people talking about they'd been seeing lights down this belt line. Well, I didn't pay no attention to it. Night after night, being an old mechanic, I didn't like shoveling no way. But I'd done my job. Well, one night, I looked up there, and there was a light coming down the belt line. There wasn't nobody in that mine. They was all on the section. I was the only belt man in the mines on that end. We was so short-handed. And I watched that light, and it just stopped. And then it went over towards the rib, and then it went into the rib, just disappeared. I said, what in the world? That was a strange, scary feeling. So I run up there, see why we went through a bradish door or something, but there wasn't no bradish door. Bradish doors are only every five breaks. Well, they wasn't nothing there. He went into solid coal, whatever that light was. 
and that was a weird, strange event. So that that's another occurrence. And the most weirdest occurrence I ever had was a spirit. We went back in the old workings one night. I doubled back to go back in these old workings to help build some seals. Seal off an old section that they hadn't worked anymore. They were sealing it off to help the ventilation. And here's about what they look like. Just sealing off old workings. And I was helping the older guys. I was a young guy then. And me and they was a crew of about four or five of us. So they was building the bradish, we was supplying block to them. And we was cleaning up the area where they wanted to build the bradishes, the seals. We was tearing out old cables and cleaning out and uh, making it. And I just had an eerie feeling in there, real eerie. And we, so we just kept working. But I, I just cleaning up the area for the seals and I kept having an eerie feeling like somebody was watching me, like it just wasn't right. And here are these old workings here where they'd rob back to a certain point. You could see all the old timbers here, they'd see it. It was a spooky place, but there was just something rotten right. So we's eating dinner here. We'd all been doubled back anyway, so we's eating our hot lunch at the Union claimed that the company had to provide for us. Wasn't much of a lunch. And they tell me about a guy that I told them the feelings I was having, that this guy would, had got killed here working on a tailpiece right there where we're cleaning up at. He got covered up by a rock fall, rib row, cleaning on the tailpiece just about five, six years ago. And old rock just falls out. This is about what it looks like. Old rock fall. Well, out in between the boat. He just happened to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. Well, at our dinner, we went back to cleaning. They went back to building, sealing these seals, radishes we were building. And every time I'd go by this place, I had the awful feeling like somebody was watching me. So we just kept on the rest of the chill, cleaning up and getting stuff done. When we got ready to leave, I had to go by one more time, and I just happened to look over that way. And I could have swore that there was an image of a man, a worker, an old miner, standing there looking at me with his hands in his pocket. And I tried to get my buddies to look at it and everything, but before I could get him, he, he just seemed to fade away. Never seen him again. That was the most eeriest feeling I could swear that I seen what I seen. Nobody believed me, but I don't tell nobody much about this. But there you go. That's the strange things I've seen in my experience in the mine. And I know some of you is out there, old miners, that's seen some weird, unexplainable stuff too. So, I hope you enjoyed this old story. This is true. I witnessed this myself. So I want to thank you all for watching. And I'll see you next time.